back to Hatching Chicks. I'm Melanie Brook, Education Program Coordinator for Les Hills Agriculture in the Classroom. Les Hills is a regional effort of the Iowa Ag Literacy Foundation. We're so happy you've decided to join us today on Hatch Day. Um, this is episode 16, and as you can see, we have all three chicks here. Sorry about the delay, but I was able to go to my farm and get the other two chicks that hatched last night and join it with the one chick that hatched here at the office. Um, if you're watching us today, go ahead and uh, type in the comments where you're watching from. And if you've a uh, return visitor, go ahead and give us a great big thumbs up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light here on the incubator, or excuse me, on the tote, so the chicks are just a little bit easier to see. So as you can see, all three chicks are here in the tote that we prepared for them a few days ago. They have water, and when chicks are very little, if you want to put a couple of stones inside the water container, that could help them from getting in the water and possibly drowning. We also have the food available for them. I've sprinkled some food on top of the shavings for them to peck at. And then we have the heat source here that keeps them nice and warm. As you can see, these chicks are moving about very freely, so that tells me that they're comfortable, that they're not too hot and they're not too cold. If they were huddled up underneath the heat lamp, that would tell me that they were cold. And if they were um, moving around to the very far corners of the tote, then I would know that um, they needed to cool off a little bit. So if you just watch your chicks, they can kind of tell you and, and you can um, gauge their, their comfort level. Now, the next thing that we have to do with our incubator is to unplug it. We're gonna go ahead and remove the bottom lining and we're gonna remove the shell from the incubator. I will wash up and disinfect the incubator with a bleach solution, and then I'll make sure to run the incubator for at least 24 hours on dry. That way no mold or mildew will build up before it's time to use it again. Um, these are available for classroom use, and I keep them in my office when we're not hatching chicks. So that kind of wraps up our chick hatch program. Um, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, please type, so, type the questions in the comments below and my team and I will make sure to answer those for you. Also, if you have any experience with chicks, um, if you can guess what breeds they might be, uh, I think the black ones might be Bard Plymouth Rocks and I'm guessing maybe the, the, the little yellow one here could be a Buff Orpington. Um, but as they grow and mature, we'll have a better idea of what kind of, um, what kind of breed of chickens these might be. So this has been a really great two, a little bit over two weeks. Um, as you can see, the chick hatch experience um, is something you can do in your classroom, you can do virtually. It's something that kids really engage with. And so for all the kids um, that have been watching each day, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna miss visiting with you. But if you're looking for other virtual classroom experiences, or if you want some resources, be sure to go to our website. That's www.iowaagliteracy.org and you'll be able to find other virtual learning experiences. So everybody stay safe and we'll see you next time.